Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to play the HLS videos, which basically highlight HTTPS live stream videos on your Android TV app. So let's begin. Let's create a new project. You can give it as HLS in TV app. You can name it anything. There's of things I will leave it as it is and click finish and wait for the environment to load. In the meantime, I'll just quickly show you that you can get the sample uh, HLS video URL you will need for your testing. Just go to Google and okay, I can show you. Just go to Google and type uh, sample HLS video URL. And the first link itself, if you click in a new window, you can just scroll down and they have given lots of. Uh, you are also I'll be using probably the first one. Yeah. So let me go back to my Android Studio environment and it is still coming up, so we may have to wait. Once the environment loads, first and foremost, what we'll do is we'll go to our manifest file and give it a permission to access internet. Okay, so use permission internet because I think the streaming will happen over internet. I think that's all, and then I can go to probably my Java code. Or before Java, so let's do one thing. I'll go to my layout and try to complete my layout. So by default, it gives the phone view. I'll change it to the TV view. So you can use any of these TV views. Yeah, this looks better. And uh, in this, uh, what we need is something called player uh, from the Media3 library. So we can go to the XML format and over here, you can type it. You can type a widget, which is basically Android X dot We'll take you something from media C library. We may have to import the dependency if it automatically doesn't take care of it. So let's see. And we'll need something called player view to demonstrate our things. So if I hover here, yeah, this is what I was expecting that it will ask me to add dependency. Just click on this and it may take a while because it will what it will do is it will add a dependency in your gradle file which is basically i think the new version a this terminal file and this is what it has added and then it will do the syncing also so that this gets resolved to the particular widget so we may have to wait so dependency has been added however it is still giving uh, some kind of error so it's saying define okay so it, like they are attributes which are required so you can do it here or you can go to your uh, view mode which is sometimes I prefer better and you can add the things from here as well and yeah so these are the constraints I have given and layout width and height uh, I can say match parent match parent and here also same thing match parent so basically it will cover the whole screen perfect so that error uh, warning should uh, one is there but error should go away so if you come back here it looks clean now so that's all in terms of player and then on top of it you can probably enable other things say for example there should be an option okay i think i should have gone here and then search for something called buffering show buffering you can just say always and which will basically make it as true and then Probably some of the other settings, what we can do with this. So, there are lots of options you can just play around, but I'll just show some of the main kind of options. So, show subtitle button. This again, you can make it true and probably use controller, so make it true. Use artwork, you can make it true. Yeah, so some of this you can make it true to make it more functionally active. This text view, I don't think we'll need it, so I'll just delete this. And apart from this, I think I need a button to trigger. Uh, of course, I can do it uh, directly in the uh, from the on kit method, but I would like to put a button to start at least the first initial part. And this button again, I'll give some constraints. My button has gone on the right hand side. I think this is because it starts. Yeah, I should change it to parent and it should be fine is what I guess okay so I have marked it as parent parent and then question so now it looks good however there are still some of insufficient text so anyway I was about to set the color and text so text you can say as something like a star 
as simple as that and uh, in terms of then i think i can set the background now and i'll do one thing i'll make it a bit more transparent so if you see it's changing here so i'll keep it transparent so that even even if it holds over the video file it looks it should be fine i'll probably something like this or i'm not sure yeah so you can uh, take care of whatever form you want here so that's all in terms of button and layer now i can go to my java code and here quickly what i'll do is i'll define a method for my button public void button start hls yes perfect i'll go back to my layout and over here in the button on create attribute somewhere down i should get that on create on click not on create sorry for that yeah and this will this method will be called whenever this button is clicked perfect now if i go to my java code and i start the coding here first and foremost thing i'll need is something called extra player so again it's giving warning let me see not giving me any option so i think p should be capital if i'm not wrong extra player it is still giving some warning okay so i think here again i have to add this dependency just click on this again it will take through the process of adding it over here i think this is the one which is now it's adding and it will resolve it it may take a while yeah so we may have to wait in the meantime perfect it seems like it is done so i can continue so i'll just create i'll call the constructor over here it will create uh, all a lot of methods so i don't think i need this is making it complicated i'll do it in a much more simpler way so what i'll do is new probably i'll just wait a minute i'll just new extra player dot builder perfect and over here I can use the context as this one and then build. Yeah, this is what I will be using to create my extra player object. And then I'll be using this extra player to say, for example, set media source or media item better. And over here, the media item from ah, this one from a string because our we have got the url in a string form so i go back here i'll just copy paste copy here and we can paste it here so this is the sample video what we are going to test what we'll be using for testing our thing so and then i can call extra player and prepare the second one perfect so once done it then i think what we can do it is we can take something called player view what we created in our xml file and access it by some id so let me see what id we gave or did we give any id also or not so if i go here and i scroll up yeah so these are id called player view so we'll be using that find view by id r dot id dot player view and once we have it so for now you can ignore this uh, red thing because i think it's for No, this error we have to solve because I think what I have done by mistake, I have done it twice. Find me by ID. So, one time we have to take it away. Yeah, perfect. And no once we have it, then we can just do what is we can set the player and exit player we have anyway defined just now above. So, that's all. Let me run it in a emulator. It will work on an actual TV also. I have tested it. and But in this demo, I'll show it in the emulator and it should work fine. So, let's see. Let it app come up so there is no code change required on the on create method and all the respective things will get imported automatically as the dependencies are added over here yeah so let's wait for the emulator to come up so i'm running the code and let's see how it comes up on the emulator so it may take a while for the first time when you run it so let's wait 
it seems like app has come up it's very uh, it's of course dark and it's a very light because we have made it transparent so let me click on this okay so it seems like it crashed when i click on this i'll do one thing i'll just quickly debug and see i'm suspecting it's crashing at line number 31 uh, because of i think my dependencies but let me confirm that so i'll just go to next uh, next yeah, see, it, it it failed there. So because it's going here, so if I can see that error, an error is no suitable. I think I got it. So as I was suspecting, it's because of the uh, incorrect dependency. So let me take a note of this error in my file and let me create the dependency. So for that, what you can do is you have to add a dependency. Go to your Gradle file, I think this one, and add a dependency for media three uh, edge. Actually, so okay, that you can verify if you go to the TOML file. So by default, it has included all the media thing related uh, dependencies. However, it has not added the uh, libraries for the HLS part. So you can just use this one, which I'm posting here. Okay, giving some warning. Let me see what it is. Replace with new library using. So it's giving me any options to replace with something so you can choose either i think i'll choose go for second one click on sync now and i can just show you quickly in the uml file what it will happen is it will just create a new entry i guess this is a new entry which is just created just now for hls and there should be a respective entry for this one so let me yeah so okay i should have probably stop it and if i go back to my gradle file it will this error will go off yeah that's what i was suspecting and if i go back here so this is the line which is it has made an entry so let me read on the code and let's see how it comes up i'll switch back to my java code i don't think i need a debug point anymore and i can close this thing as well so we'll keep it clean yeah so let the uh, this one come up it may take again a while because we have uh, changed the dependencies so it takes time to build a gradle again let's wait Finally, the app has come up. It took quite a good amount of time, so don't worry if it takes minutes. Just wait. So again, uh, there is a start button. I'll just click on that. Ah, perfect. So something has come up. Let me see. So I, I don't know. We have main engine start. Yes, so I have just taken a sample. Two, I'll first pause you. Wait. Uh, yeah, I have taken a sample video uh, from this uh, website. So One. Yeah, so this is just a sample video about some technology and all. So I don't want to go into uh, show the complete video, but yeah, just wanted to show you that if you have a uh, live streaming uh, or HTTPS, uh, some kind of URL, then you can use just Exo Player like this to play it in a, such a simple way. The critical part here is to make sure that you uh, include all the dependencies uh, in your uh, build file, Gradle file, and the dependencies which will be needed in your libraries like this. And yeah, you can use them. So that's all. I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.